Dubai is home to many VIPs, very important pets, and they're catered to at pet-friendly hotels, restaurants and pampering parlours like this one. Everyone appreciates a little indulgence, and pets are no exception. At family-run Shampooch, dogs get the ultimate makeover. Four-legged clients can book in for a shampoo, hair conditioning and hair styling, and a pedicure. Makeovers are completed with a spritz of fragrance, and pets are welcome to model for before and after shots against Shampooch's photo wall. At Shampooch, we get a lot of different types of clientele. We've got uh, clients who come to us for their pampering for their pooches, so they come in to get their dogs groomed. Um, we have a lot of people who are busy professionals who go off to you know, work in the morning. Their dogs come into daycare, they, they spend their day here, which is their kind of like coming into school. Um, they run around, they make friends, they go home tired, happy and content, which is great for the owners as well. Another canine retreat, My Second Home, opened in Dubai Investment Park in 2015. This luxury pet resort and spa provides five-star grooming, boarding, training and recreation for Dubai's dogs. And it even has a swimming pool. We've got overnight boarding, we've got daycare or schooling for dogs during the day, training, grooming services, a dog park for people to come and enjoy with their dogs, pick up and drop off, so our pet limousine service as well. Each suite, regardless of whether it's a standard or a presidential, comes with a webcam so that very concerned parents can watch their pups when they sleep at night. For stays that also accommodate humans, Dubai offers several pet-friendly hotels that welcome travelers with four-legged friends. But only one is designed both inside and out by the late designer, Dame Zaha Hadid. Meadby's special pooch package includes a dog bed, doggy amenities such as a dog brush and shampoo, and doggy bowls, plus a room service menu designed by Meadby's executive chef, James Knight Pacheco. So as a chef, of course it was a huge challenge to do a pet menu, normally I'm cooking for humans. So this time round, I uh, actually had to do a lot of research into what goes into dog food or cat food. On the menu itself, there are lots of different things. Uh, things for puppies, things for dogs, things for cats. Uh, they have different names, kind of like Raise the Wolf or Notorious D.O.G. Uh, however, always protein-based, little bit of carbohydrate. If you just fancy a breakfast or lunch date with your furry friend, visit one of Dubai's pet-friendly restaurants. Reform Social and Grill Dubai in the Lakes is one of them. With bespoke snacks and a lawn for walks, pets are spoiled here, especially when their humans have leftovers. For an entirely different petting experience, there's Dubai's only indoor rainforest, Green Planet at City Walk. Here, you can get up close and personal with all kinds of creatures, from exotic birds to sugar gliders and sloths. We offer a few different animal encounters here. We have a sugar glider encounter. It's around 15 to 20 minutes long. Uh, guests will get to come. They'll meet the sugar glider family. Um, we'll get to feed them, give them some of their favorite foods like super worms or some grapes. Um, guests are able to touch and hold and learn all about these interesting little animals. So another of our animal encounters is the sloth encounter. It happens at 1.30 every day. It's around a 20 to 30 minute interaction where guests can come and meet one of our sloths. Liam, the sloth, will be on the perch uh, in our encounter space. They'll be able to touch to see what the fur is like. They'll be able to feed, give them some of their favorite vegetables, whether that's carrot or some fruits like plum and grapes. They're very docile. Uh, they sleep for 12 to 18 hours every day. So they don't have a lot of energy. All the energy that they do have just goes into digesting their food. In their natural habitat, they eat leaves, and leaves take a long time to digest. In January, Green Planet announced some very good news. Resident sloth Liam and his mate Lemon are celebrating the birth of their cub, a female called Lime, the first ever sloth born in the region.